If you're anything like me, you love fashion or you know a lot about fashion brands. But today in this video, we're going to be focusing on two fashion handbags, Gucci and MS. Although you love fashion, buying this product is a whole totally different issue because of how much these bags are priced. So a Gucci bag is priced between $900 to $3,000 while an MS Birkin bag is priced between $11,000 to $12,000 depending on the color, the size and the type of leather used which is actually a plot of land in my village. But this is just the retail prices. The resale prices is a totally different issue as they tend to be high in price. So the retail prices I just discussed does not include specialty bags such as different type of leather such as crocodile leather or things like that or actually collector's bag because those have a different price range altogether. And this is for both Gucci handbags and Hermes breaking handbags. So have you ever wondered to yourself why there is a difference in price between these two brands? Are they not both luxury brands? Why are they priced so differently? I know that we are discussing luxury brands and luxury handbags in this video but stay with me and watch till the end of this video because there are essential marketing strategies that you can use and adopt for your business. For the price of one Hermes Birkin bag, you can get four of the most expensive Gucci bag. It goes without saying these both brands produce more products but today we're going to be focusing on the handbag of Gucci and a specific bag of Hermes which is the Birkin bag. So let's start by trying to answer why people actually buy this bag. So the first reason people buy this bag is because it's actually a status symbol. Can you imagine someone carrying around a $12,000 bag? $12,000 in the current market exchange rate of Naira is about 6.9 million Naira. While the most expensive Gucci bag is going to cost you 1.7 million Naira. So why is there so much difference in the prices? So we're going to discuss it in this video. So hi guys, welcome to The Smiling Professor. My name is Bukola and today we're going to discuss the 5 differences between Gucci and MRS. So the first difference between the both brands is their target market. So Gucci target market is everyone. So Gucci as a brand wants you to aspire to use their products. So their target market is the everyday people, which includes the high earners, the low earners, the middle class, the average person. You can see this in their adverts and promotion that they use. This is why you see Gucci use influencers to promote their brand because they want everyday people to aspire to buy their products and by buying these products you believe and you feel like you are rich and you are part of the elite class in the society on the other hand MS are not actually targeting the average people they are targeting the top earners to buy their MS breaking bag just because of the price have you ever checked on Instagram and seen an influencer posting Hermes Birkin bag and writing paid promotion underneath. No, you never see this because they do not actually spend money to pay influencers to promote their product. They don't need to do this. People promote the product already because just the ability to buy this bag is actually influential. For this reason, some people that can afford this bag, immediately they buy, they post it to tell people that they are rich, they can afford this bag and they are part of the 1% of the rich people in the society. So Hermes target audience, especially when it comes to do with their Birkin bag, is not everybody. It is the top earners, the 1%. That's why they did not spend money on promotion. So you actually have to be a top earner to be able to afford this bag because it costs 6.9 million or $12,000 and you actually have to be rich or wealthy to be able to carry around a bag that costs so much money. If you actually can afford this bag, please let me know down in the comment section below. But the second difference between these two brands is the availability of their products. So you can walk into any high-end luxury shop or high-end luxury outlet and buy a Gucci handbag. But you cannot walk into any shop and find an Hermes breaking bag. You may be able to find other handbags made by Hermes but you will definitely not find a Birkin because they are in real high demand. So the way to get this bag is to build a relationship with the sales associates at MS because they call their attendant sales associates and it's advisable 
able to stick to one person and after three years when you've spent a lot of money in the shop they might decide that you're worth a breaking bag and offer you the opportunity to own one or you have to spend at least a hundred thousand dollars in the shop and you may be offered an opportunity to own an Emirates breaking bag so this is brilliant marketing in marketing there's something called perceived value so perceived value is a customer's evaluation of the merits of a service or good and the ability for the good and service to meet its expectation especially in comparison with other goods and services why i said emirates marketing of their birkin bag is brilliant is because they already give their potential customers high perceived value of the bag that's why people are very very happy and excited to be given the opportunity to buy the bag if you're liking this video so far please click the like button and leave a comment down in the comment section below because it helps boost the video now let's go back to our topic of discussion another brilliant marketing strategy that they use is to create artificial scarcity so they do not produce a lot of the breaking bag so therefore there is high demand of the breaking bag being produced from my research i realized that people who can afford a breaking bag and want to buy a breaking bag on the same day have to fly all the way to france to go into the only shop that readily sells breaking bag and you have to book an appointment so there are some people who actually fly all the way to France and are not able to book an appointment to go into the shop. So MS is really focused on creating artificial scarcity of this bag just so they can maintain the price and the perceived value of the handbag. Another difference between these two brands is the level of status symbol. Do not get me wrong, the both brands are both luxury brands, but MS have been able to distinguish itself with its level of exclusivity. Because of how it has created artificial scarcity on the Birkin bag. So some people who buy luxury products want to stand out in the society as being in the top 1% or in the top earning class. So therefore, depending on their income, connection and availability to cash, they might decide either to go for a Gucci handbag or an Hermes breaking bag. So there is a popular saying that wealth whispers. That's the difference between the both handbags. So people who buy Gucci handbag, you could clearly see the logo on it and you have an idea that they are wealthy. But Hermes breaking bag, for my research, they don't really have a huge logo, except those people that know luxury brands and know luxury items that can identify this bag. Or if the owners actually tell you that this is an Hermes breaking bag before you know this zip. So for people who are not into luxury products, the owners of the bag actually have to tell you how much the bag costs for an immersed break-in because some people might just see the bag as a high quality leather bag and not know that it's actually an Hermes breaking if you're not into luxury products. Some of their customers have actually argued that the quality of the bag is really really good. I don't know this person because I do not have the bag, I do not have the money to buy this bag, I don't know even if I had the money I would ever buy this bag but they've argued that the quality of this bag is really really good but from my research I've realized that there are some high quality leather bags that don't cost as much but depending on what you're into this bag might be something you fancy. As I said in the beginning, the both bags offer their customers a high level or status symbol in the society but MS has been able to distinguish itself as being very exclusive so their own customers have air of superiority. There is also a rumor that MS have a limit on how much Birkin bag someone can buy per year so everyone is limited to two Birkin bags per year. So no matter who you are, they can only make you two breaking bag per year and these have really really driven the resale value. And that's the next difference between these two brands. So Gucci has a very good resale value, costing reselling for two times or three times the original price but ms resale value is really really high so ms resale value can range from anything from thirty five thousand dollars to up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars even from my research i saw that some bags resell for almost three hundred and fifty thousand dollars that is why some people have made this a business so they go and buy the bag at the retail price but resell is for really high price some individuals have even argued 
you that reselling Hermes bag is worth more than some businesses. Reselling Hermes bag is actually a very good business and it might fetch you more profit than conducting some other businesses. The last differences between the two brands is the customer's perceived brand value. Because of the value of the brand, they are able to price their products at a really expensive price. So some people have conducted research and put an original Hermes bag but remove the logo at the bottom and show this to customers and the customers are not willing to pay high prices for the bag but when they put the logo on the bag they are ready to pay high price for that bag. What this experiment illustrates is that people are paying so much money for the bag because of the brand name and because it is called an Hermes Birkin bag. So brand value is really really important and this is also similar with Gucci products. So why have I spent all this time telling you about handbags and the differences between the two brands? It's because you can use this information for your personal business. So if you've decided to sell luxury items, you have to choose what market strategy you want to adopt. So do you want to target everyone within the society? Do you want to target everyday people, high earners, or do you want to make your products more exclusive? So where you sell to only the top percent, if you've decided to make your product exclusive, you would have to create artificial scarcity for your product you would also have to create an air of exclusivity because that's the only way you'll be able to charge really high prices for your product or your service if you want me to discuss how you can use ms strategy or how you can use gucci strategy to create your own product and service and charge as much as they do please let me know down in the comment section below i want to say thank you to everybody who's watched the end of this video and for your support if you're still here right now i know that you really really support me so i want to say thank you i want to take the time to explain why i haven't posted for the past month i was unwell and i actually lost my voice that's why i haven't posted so hopefully i keep posting every week please like and comment on the video if you've enjoyed the video and please also share the video with your friends don't forget to click the notification bell so you always know when i upload and if you're new here and you have not yet subscribed please take the time to subscribe to my youtube channel if you're an old subscriber thank you for being here and i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to click the notification bell so you always know when i upload thanks guys bye